Hey, uh, I'm David from Evo. I'm here with Sean uh, from Fox. We're here in California at Fox HQ, checking out the new line of Fox Forks. Uh, Sean, we've got a pretty major update to the line here. Uh, what advice would you give riders who are kind of looking to upgrade their fork, who maybe aren't sure which chassis they want, which damper they want? How do they put that all together? How do they choose the right fork? That can be about as overwhelming as setting up a, a four-way adjustable damper, right? Yep. With air pressure and all these other variables as well. We've always believed in category optimization uh, and giving riders choices. I think the, the benefit to that is if you are clear on what you want or need, we have it for you. But to your point, the downside is it can be confusing. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, you can see from our fork lineup, right? One of the things I love about our forks is the name 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Yeah. So you can just visually tell and it helps you identify like the bigger your riding style, the bigger the number of fork you want. So that's a, at least makes it a little easier right off the top. And if you're upgrading, you're probably coming from an existing fork. So if you're currently on a 34 millimeter fork, for example, um, and you're feeling like that's working for you, you might just want a better damper. That's why you're wanting to upgrade. Then it's easy. I could stay with a 34. But if you're like, well, I'm actually, I've progressed in my riding since I bought this bike. And I think maybe I need something a little more, even more stout. Then you might want to go up to a two millimeters to a 36, something yeah. like that. So hopefully our, our naming convention um, and then just the sort of the visual uh, progression of size helps, um, but that doesn't really address the damper thing as, as much, right? So Grip SL is our new endurance damper, replaces Fit 4. Uh, as you move up in size, you go into these guys in the middle kind of here with Grip X, and you've got this balance of ascending and descending performance. Um, definitely still focused towards descending, but the lightweight and the firm mode give a nice ascending feature set as well. Then you move into Grip X2. Nobody's saying you can't climb with these forks. It's just that that's not what it's made for. It's not as good at it as these other ones. But when you point it downhill, unride. All right. Well, sounds like there's something for everyone. And uh, we're really excited about these new forks. Check them out on evo.com and we'll see you on the trails.